Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Itai Shakuri and I'm with the open source team in Aqua Security. Today I wanted to show you Tracy, which is one of our open source tools. Um, Tracy is actually a systems tracer, which means that it lets us look into the operating system and see what it is doing. Tracy started uh, in one of our products actually, that is um, taking untrusted software and investigating it to see what it is really up to. So we needed a way to look uh, into the operating system and see what's really happening. And this is uh, basically Tracy is the engine that collects those events from the operating system and uh, surfaces those events to us for further analyzing. We decided to just open source the engine behind this and this is Tracy. Tracy is using eBPF which is a Linux technology that helps us uh, connect with the operating system and collect those events. Um, we have another video on eBPF, so feel free to check that out as well. To get started with Tracy, just go to aquasecurity slash Tracy on GitHub. Um, you can see that this is still experimental because we are still changing Tracy quite a bit. There is a Python and a Go version we started Tracy as Python in the beginning and uh, we decided to rewrite in Go and right now we have both versions in the repo in terms of features they are equivalent you can choose whichever you want but just note that going forward we will remain with the Go version before you begin just make sure that you have Linux kernel 414 or newer and that you have BCC installed. BCC is the BPF compiler collection. It's a collection of tools and libraries that helps us, the, the BPF developers, write the program. So you need to go to github slash iovisor slash BCC and in there you will find the installation documentation depending on the operating system that you're using. Uh, you have instructions here. Uh, just a note that if you are using the Go version of Tracy, you would need version 0.11 of BCC, or if you want to use the Python version, you can use an older version of BCC as well. Once you got that, you can just download or clone Tracy and start working. Um, and here I can just run Tracy with the dash dash help flag that just prints out the help. We can see how to use Tracy. If we just run Tracy without anything, without any further configuration, it will just start tracing everything. This is the default, but I, I can also configure it so I can tell it how I want to receive the output as a JSON or as a table. I can choose which events I want to actually trace and to list the available events to trace, I can use the list command. The dash C or container mode is actually quite interesting. It allows us to trace only newly created containers because um, when you trace a, a running system, a real world system, you would get a lot of events. So if you're interested in evaluating some container or container image, you can start tracing with the C container mode and then start the container and you will only get events from that container. Um, okay, so I can just um, run Tracy. You need to um, run it with sudo and I'm not providing any flags, which means that it will trace everything it can. And I have here a um, tool that I want to run. It's a very cool tool. What it does, I don't know, because it errors on me. I don't know what it tried to do. I know that it didn't work out. So I'm hoping that Tracy maybe will help me troubleshoot or maybe look into what the tool was trying to do so I can learn a little bit about it. So by now Tracy is up and running. It's starting to collect events. So I will run the cool tool again. And I can see here that just before it exited, it tried to open a file, right? It, it issued the open at system call. And these are the arguments 
to the open system call and I see that it tried to open this file under the path not existing which will obviously fail. So Tracy helped me understand a little bit this cool tool. Let's look at another example. I have here another cool tool. It's actually a cooler tool and I will run this and it will do something and tell me, okay, I'm done. I did what I what you wanted me to do. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But if we look into the logs, we will see that again, just before it exited, it actually tried to communicate with some remote endpoint over the internet. I don't know if this is what it, it was supposed to do, if it's a legitimate action or not, but the fact that I'm able to see what this software was doing from the operating system point of view is really helpful for me uh, to understand this software. All right, so that was it. This is Tracy. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go to um, Aqua Security slash Tracy, star us, open an issue, open a pull request. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.